good company don't say anything so this is the next video and this is the tutorial about solving problem related to the compound motor so I will be solving two problems here one is related to a short shunt compound motor or compound generator and long shunt compound generator the second is related to long shunt compound generator so directly going to the circuit drawing the circuit for the question one the circuit could be given or for based on the question you'll have to draw the circuit but the parameters given this is a short shunt motor so what you will have is you will have a separately bound armature field or RSC which is given by the armature resistance this is a shunt field which is 65 ohm and this is the resistance of the armature which is equal to 0 0.06 ohm and this is a series field which is equal to 0 0.02 ohm so in a short shunt if the the armature or the series field will have the full load current while in a long shunt it will be exposed only to the armature current so this is a supply voltage V and this is a voltage generated EG and if I have the same circuit same motor if I am connecting it as a long shunt then it can be drawn like this so the series field and the armature will be connected together in the long shunt case and in parallel to both this winding there will be what is the field which is shunt and this is 65 and this is IF this is IA and this is what is my voltage which is 220 volt and 220 volt is the supply voltage in this case so the way so my question is to find my EG or the voltage generated in the armature for both the cases so if I find the field wind field current or the load current so my parameters for this question is that the rated power output which is equal to 200 kilowatt and my rated voltage is equal to 220 volt so my field current is equal to or my load current which is equal to 200 into 10 raised to minus 3 or 3 divided by the value which is given by what is my voltage which is 220 and this comes close to 909.09 .09 amperes
now when I'm dealing for my field current IF in the case when I'm solving for the question one my field current IF will be equal to my terminal voltage 220 minus of the voltage drop in the RSC which will be equal to 909 into 0 0.02 divided by 60 so IF which is equal to V minus ISC or IL load current into RSC which was my drop divided by 65 which was a field resistance so when I equate this this comes close to what is 3.10 amperes so now I got my IF which is equal to 3.10 and my IL is equal to 909.09 amperes so my IA is equal to IL minus IF from the equation if you see from this circuit so that is equal to 905.99 so my EG which is equal to or uh, equal to V plus I A R A plus I L into R S C which is equal to 220 plus 0 0.02 into 909.09 plus I L this was for my I L into R S C and my IA is 905.09 into 0 0.06 so this whole thing will come equal to 292.53 volts so this is my EG in this case now this was my answer for my question 1 and if I solve for this circuit which is question 2 the same way then my load current will be same if the parameters are same for even this circuit so the load current is equal to 909.09 .09 and my field current in this case will be equal to 3.66 which is directly my IF is equal to 2 20 divided by 65 which will give me this value this is ampere again this is ampere and my EG which is equal to V plus IA into RSC plus RA and just so my IA in this case which is very simple and which is equal to IL minus IF which comes close to 912 amperes Or which is equal to plus of this so and now my EG is equal to 220 plus 912 into 0 0.02 plus 0 0.06 this solving this I get close to 292.96 volts so my EG was for this was equal to 292.53 and my EG for this was equal to 292.96 volts
So this is how I calculate this.